What's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Let me tell you something. If you love baked catfish, you better stay with me because I got the perfect baked catfish recipe. All right, y'all, this, this recipe here is super easy. I got three catfish fillets that I've rinsed and sitting over here in my uh, plate. Um, I cut up some fresh dill, and I have a little, uh, it's kind of a poultry fish seasoning. If you can find some in your local stores, or you can use a, uh, I guess, uh, like a, 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 a store-bought brand that says fish. If you like it a little spicy, you can go with some uh, occasion uh, seasoning. Just a little something to wake it up. So I'm adding salt and pepper to mine. And then to really give that lemony flavor because this is a, a lemon dill baked catfish, I'm going to use the zest of one lemon. And it's nothing like like just a fresh zest of a lemon. That's gonna really wake the fish up. And while I'm doing this, uh, I got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. So we're gonna, it'll be all ready to go. It's very simple, something you can make in the evening when you get home and kind of got your mind taste for some fish, you can just Pop this in, it's only a few ingredients, and you're good to go. So now we wanna just kinda of whisk this all together and combine it all. Yeah, just like that. Get it all incorporated. And then I just grab one, go across here, sprinkle a little on the back. This one. Hit that bottom really good. And get the last one. Like so. And then just sprinkle across the top. I like to season it heavy. And then I take my hands and just kind of rub it in and pat it in, make sure it's evenly distributed. fish all set. I'm going to sit that to the side for a minute. We got a wire rack baking sheet and I want to spray it. You want to spray it really good so that your fish doesn't stick. And you, some, some of these sprays are olive oil spray or canola oil, uh, whatever your preference is. And now we're just going to lay them across here really nicely. That oil will keep them from sticking to the grates. Because I didn't, uh, I didn't put oil on the fish. Because I didn't want it to affect the flavor, so I sprayed the grates like that. There's a little bit on the edge when you really season. You want, it. you want somebody, when they eating your food, in every bite, they taste your flavor. Just like that, you see how simple and easy it was? Just like that, we're set. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. We want it to become brown and crispy, um, and then I'll be, we'll be able to dig in.
Y'all hear that? You hear that? I told you, it's done. Man, don't they look delicious? You can see a little bit of the, the deal in them. Now let's see if my, um, my spray worked. Let's get up under here. Look, it's just coming right on up under there. Beautiful. Let's put this big king one in the center. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to lay and lay this one this way. I'm going to move this off so you can see. Then I'm going to lay this last one. Oh my goodness. Mmm, that looks delicious. You guys, you guys have been following my channel. You know that um, I always say, if it's pretty to the eyes, it's gonna taste that much better to the mouth. So what we're gonna do now I, I had a little extra deal I just lined across there. Let's just, we don't want to waste anything, so let's just take these, this lemon that I had zested, cut small, thin little rings. Oh, be careful, Pat. Watch out. Watch out now. Y'all see how quick I am with that hand? That come, that come with experience. That means you've been doing it a while. So we'll just take our little wheels and we'll come like so. And, uh, take this one, get the seeds out. Let's see that. We'll just come across here with a little lemon juice. Just like that. Now I'm telling you, if you like baked fish, this is certainly a go-to recipe. And it's, as you can see, simple and easy, only a few ingredients. Um, you bake it in the oven, so it's extremely healthy. No oil was used, wasn't fried. Um, and it just makes a great, great light dish. Um, and it's a different way to do your catfish as opposed to always frying it. All right, guys, as I always say, if you got a comment, go ahead and put it in that uh, comment section because I read them. Um, and if you really like it and you have yet to subscribe, go right ahead on and hit that subscribe, that subscribe button. And I'll leave you with this. Tell a friend to tell another friend to jump on the Pat Neely BBQ Kings YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Hit that, that's too many words. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Have a little tug twine because I'm ready to dig into to this, uh, this fish. And um, until next time, y'all, stay tuned for more great recipes.